started off with concealed eyebrows, contacts, and some vampire teeth. And then I covered my entire lid with some white shadow and the inner corner. And then with my NYX Jumbo Pencil in Milk, I lined my waterline and smudged it down a bit and then set it with some more white powder. And then I did a basic cat eye with some gel liner and a flat liner brush. Um, if you're not used to such a large wing, it just takes practice. Just use short strokes and go back and forth until you get it as even as possible. And then underneath, I went well below my lash line and kind of drew three-fourths of the way over um, with a thin line just to make my eyes look larger. And then with some white body paint, I just mapped out where Minnie's hairline is and I was using a reference photo the whole time. And then with some black face paint and a filbert brush, a large filbert brush, I drew in the hairline and around her cheeks. It might be easier if you use a smaller brush first to draw the lines and then fill it in, but I just used this one. And then I used that same black face paint and a smaller brush and just did a little tiny round nose on the tip of my nose. And on the corners of my mouth I drew in her smile and some smile lines. And then I put some concealer on the corners of my mouth and then with a red lip liner I think this is a NARS lip liner. I did a very heart-shaped small mouth. And then on the apples of Minnie's cheeks, which are well below the apples of yours, I just put a round spot of some pink blush. And then on my lip and my nose, I drew a little highlight with some white body paint. And then on my forehead with some black body paint and some in the small brush, I think it's a number one or two, Lil Cornell, I drew in my spider webs. And then the connecting webs with a little U shape. And then with that um, big filbert brush, I did the petals around my eyes and I used the brush to kind of make the petals. So all I did was load my brush really good with some um, Mehron red body paint and just pushed it around my eye and it made petals. Don't worry about the inside being messy, we're gonna clean that up later. And then here's where I go around the bottom and clean up around the edges around my eye. And then I also pressed on a little heart on the tip of my spider web. And then with a thin brush and some more black face paint, I painted on my teeth. And also some lines in between the petals. And then with some more red paint on that flat brush, I painted in a general shape of a rose. Just kind of a blob now. And then um, I double loaded my brush with some dark green on one side and light on the other. And I just flicked some leaves next to the rose and the heart. It gave the rose a chance to dry. So now I can go back with a black and a liner brush and um, draw on the petals. I also outlined the leaves.
And then of course, since it's mini, we had to add some white dots in each of the red petals. And then with some black face paint and that big brush again, I drew in some teardrops. And then I switched brushes to just a large round brush and did some more detail at the bottom. And then I added some swirls. Um, sometimes it's easier to go off of a teardrop to make a swirl, um, but it's up to you. Whatever's easier. And then with some white face paint, I drew on a collar. And then with um, a smaller round brush, I painted some little loops to look like lace. Um, these don't have to be perfect and they can get smaller and as you go up the collar, just a suggestion of lace. And then I painted on some white stripes for my neck. This could be rough at first, we're gonna clean it up later. I painted the rest of my chest black and then I switched over to a sponge because I think it gives it a smoother finish. And then I cleaned up my edges on my neck and then I went around the lace on the collar. It took some patience but um, if you do it the other way and paint the white lace over the black, you're just gonna get gray smudges. So um, this is the way to go if you want a nice white crisp collar. It didn't take too long. And then with some black eyeshadow, um, I just made the shadow um, that the collar would of my shirt would cast on the white just to give it some dimension. And that was it. Just make sure you black out any areas that you don't want seen. My turban headband that I wear in this video I made myself and I'll be selling on my Etsy store The Cozy Castle very soon. And thanks for watching. Mm -hmm.